Uh, this is also coming in from Canada days after uh, Hindu temple in Brandon was attacked. There is uh, zero action on part of uh, the Canadian police against those Khalistanis who were seen uh, threatening the Hindus outside the temple uh, while two Hindus have been arrested by the Canadian police. So in total, uh, three Hindus that have been arrested by the Canadian authorities while there is uh, no action that's been initiated against uh, those Khalistanis who led the attack against the Hindus outside a temple in Brampton. So this is uh, days after uh, the Khalistanis were seen on a rampage outside a temple in Brampton. Uh, the visuals on your screens show how the Hindus were assaulted by Canadian uh, police as well. And all of this while the police served as mute spectators when Khalistanis went on a rampage. It's now being reported that two Hindus have been arrested by the Trudeau police in connection with the Brampton violence. And back home, uh, Prime Minister Modi is all set to address rallies uh, in pole-bound Maharashtra. Let's take a look at the stories that we are tracking. Uh, this is Bharat in 5 Minutes. In a series of high-profile events ahead of uh, Maharashtra Assembly elections, Prime Minister Modi is set to address multiple public meetings and hold a roadshow in key districts uh, of the state. He will be holding rallies in Nanded and Dhule today. A new movement uh, for Hindu unity titled Batinge to, to Katinge has gained national attention drawing reactions from leaders across political spectrum uh, to the statement by Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. The campaign aims to emphasize uh, the importance of unity among Hindus amid challenges to religious and cultural harmony. More than 500 petitions have been submitted uh, to Jagdambika Pal, uh, who is the chairman of the JPC on Vakf Bill and the JPC member and Bengaluru South MP Tejasvi Surya. Uh, this comes uh, after Jagdambika Pal visited Hubali, Vijaypura and Belagavi where he met farmers and members of various organizations who claimed their lands were being unlawfully taken away by the state Vakf Board. It's not a parliamentary committee, it is a BJP committee. If it's a joint parliamentary committee, where are the other members? What is a former MP doing in that committee meeting? What is other MPs who have no connection with the JPC doing in that meeting? Where are the other MPs from other parties? A joint parliamentary committee means the committee members should come. This is nothing but a BJP-sponsored committee that has come today.